Answer the questions are yours. I go to the Bible, God's holy word, to find answers. Good questions again today. Let's get to the first one right now. Please explain Deuteronomy 14, 26 concerning tithing. Well, verses 22 to 26 in that chapter give us detailed instructions, or rather give detailed instructions to a farmer 3,000 years ago who needed to tithe his produce and his animals every three years at the least. He, he, if it was convenient, that passage says that he could turn his uh, crop into cash and then travel to the place where uh, the tithes were given in and the whole family could gather and it would be a time of celebration. I am not sure that that instruction has any application to us today except that giving to the work of God uh, systematically and uh, uh, is, is still God's plan for his church. And so Deuteronomy chapter 14 is of tremendous interest, but I think only stresses the importance of giving to God. Now question number two for today, is it normal to have deep fears that we are not saved? This comes from a couple who are in their 80s, love the word of God, pray daily, but are troubled with fears uh, uh, that maybe they aren't really saved. It perhaps is not necessary, but it is normal for people to have such fears. And uh, we need, the Bible says, the whole armor of God. We may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. The Bible tells us that Satan, like a roaring lion, goes about seeking whom he may devour. And if you are going to have full assurance of salvation, you need to take God at his word. And 1 John chapter 3, verse 2 says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. It doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know, we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, It is finished. The work was done, completed, forever standing, and you can rejoice in full salvation. Now question number three. What application does Matthew 5, 29 to 30 have today? Well, that passage of Scripture says that if your eye offends you, pluck it out. It's better to go into heaven with one eye than with two eyes to be cast into hell. And if your hand offends you, cut it off. It's better to go into life with one hand. Well, of course, if you are a thief or a liar, it's not going to change you just to cut off a hand. You'll still be in your heart, out of the heart of the issues of life I read in Proverbs. And so you need more than just to pluck out an eye in order to be saved. This is the strongest language in the Bible concerning the seriousness of sin. Whatever it takes for you to have forgiveness, come to the cross, believe on Christ, confess your need, go to church, read the Bible, pray. Whatever you need to have assurance of salvation, do it, my friend. Sin is serious, serious business. Thank you so much for these good questions. I trust the answers have been a blessing. If you have a question you'd like me to use on the Bible as the answer, please write it out, send it to me. I'll get to your question on the air just as quickly as I can. And all the address you need is simply Faith to Live By, Box 426, Winnipeg, Manitoba, R3C2H6. Right now, we're listening to Heidi and Dorothy. Jesus is precious.